Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to be checking in and seeing what messages need to come through for you guys for this upcoming week. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Messages may or may not apply, so just take what does and leave what doesn't for the next person. Also, if this video doesn't resonate right away, it could be something that happens down the line as I could be picking up on past, present, or future energies. So just keep it in your back pocket if it doesn't resonate right away. Um, I may actually be picking up on somebody in or around your environment, whether that's friend, family member, co-worker, partner, ex-partner partner, ex-friend, whoever you're dealing with, so if that's the case, you may have to swap the roles, and I swear a lot, so if you don't explain anything, click off, the, click off this video, and yeah, we're going to be looking into what messages need to come through for you guys for this upcoming week. Happy birthday to all my amazing Scorpios watching this video. Hope you have a wonderful birthday month. It's your season, and um, I hope you guys have some good celebrations and like set some intentions for your upcoming year since we are going into the new moon which is on the 27th we have the seven of pentacles coming out so set those intentions for the season and uh with that being said let's get right into your reading what messages do we have for scorpio okay let's be coming out really quickly so Scorpio, we first of all have the Seven of Pentacles coming out. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. It doesn't have to be though. But I honestly, I'm feeling like you're planting all these seeds and you're manifesting new things. You are waiting for your fruits of your labor to come in. And it's really just a matter of time. Like you've been putting in effort. You've been working hard. You've been investing time. And now it's just a waiting game. You gotta just keep on watering that soil you're standing on, keep on watering your garden, do some weeding, you know how it goes. Because think of it like this. Okay, so you got a garden, right? You have a garden and you're planting all these different vegetables or whatever you wanna plant, maybe strawberries, I don't know. Maybe somebody likes strawberries, I don't know that came in my head. Anyway, and so you have a garden full of weeds versus a garden without any weeds, which garden's gonna do better obviously the ones that have no weeds the one that is watered and you know fertilizer helps it grow nice and big those are going to be nice and juicy whereas the garden with weeds and the dirt is dry and like they don't get sunlight that garden's not going to do well so what you're doing is like taking care of the nitty-gritty and like taking care of business taking care of the details and you're just waiting for your fruits of labor to come in it's just a matter of time all right so trust your ideas, trust your direction because you're on the right path, okay? Just be patient. We have the Queen of Swords reversed here. So this could be either you or somebody you're dealing with, Libra energy or air. Um, so somebody, I think there's, yeah, there's two different queens here. Um, so th this could be somebody you're dealing with. But we got Queen of Wands here, fiery energy. And we also have the Queen of Swords reversed, which is kind of opposite energy. We got fire energy, we got air. I mean, you may have both in your chart you may have Aries in your chart you may have Libra in your chart maybe not doesn't matter though somebody here kind of has a sharp tongue somebody has an attitude or like very edgy I don't know if this is you Scorpio I don't I'm not feeling it like we'll look into it when we clarify but this person kind of bitchy okay or somebody is either has their guard up completely not trusting towards somebody or this could be somebody you're dealing with We'll see why this person's acting the way they are. Somebody is very cold or like pushes people away. We'll look into that. But we also have the Queen of Wands. Somebody who's very creative. Somebody who's persistent. They get the job done. They just go after their dreams. They go after their passions. They go after what they want. And I think this is you. This is you because we have the Seven of Pentacles here. You're planting those gardens, right? Planting those seeds. Taking care of your fruits and plants. And you're waiting for them to grow nice and big, right? I don't, I'm not sure if this is you. I think this could be somebody in or around your environment. We'll look into that, though. Maybe you have your guard up towards those who are trying to ruin your garden. Maybe you're trying to protect your garden because the Queen of Swords out here, it's all about protecting what matters to her. I know it's reverse, but perhaps it's like Mother Grizzly Bear, you know? When... An animal comes around her cub, she's like very defensive, she's ready to fight, she's ready to kill whatever tries to attack her babies, right? So it's like somebody crossed the line here, and Mother Bear ain't happy, so that could be another way of interpreting this, but we'll look into it when we clarify. But anyway, back to the Queen of Wands. Aries energy over here, or fire. <clears throat> This is just you being really passionate about something and going forward it, going forward with your dreams and your passions and creativity and 
just going for it. Really passionate, really creative, whoever this is. So that may be you, this may be somebody in your environment. We also have the High Priestess, could be dealing with Pisces, but this is somebody who's very intuitive. Scorpio, you're intuitive as fuck, okay? So you're able to like spot shit from a mile away. You're able to read people. You're able to see through people's intentions here. So maybe that's, maybe you do have this Queen of Swords energy reverse, right? You see through somebody's bullshit and you're calling them out and you're protecting yourself, but you're tolerating none of that bullshit, all right? You're putting your foot down. Maybe, maybe you're calling people out, confronting people. Either way though, your intuition is popping. Pay attention to it, especially if you've been having like dreams or been seeing double numbers or um synchronicities or maybe seeing animals or just like anything that's like really symbolic to you pay attention to that okay because usually there's like a message from your higher self trying to get forward so just keep that in mind let's clarify now let's clear look at that the high priestess at the bottom of the deck we got a double whammy very intuitive scorpio pay attention to it right now okay if you've been getting a feeling or you can send something up don't question it don't question it. This is probably trying to guide you to an answer of some sort or yeah, whatever. Let's go into the seven of pentacles, please, for Scorpio for the upcoming week. Oh, <laughs> what is this here? We have the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Let's see what else needs to come out. Talking about the seven of pentacles for Scorpio from now to the 3rd of November. Five of Cups reversed. Oh, oh. All right. So Scorpio, definitely looking like in your past, you could, <laughs> you could have been dealing with some toxic ass shit. Let me just put that out there, right then, right there. We have the devil here. You could have been dealing with the fucking devil. <laughs> Seriously, no. Like, jokes aside, you could have been dealing with somebody who was extremely unhealthy, extremely toxic, maybe codependent, self-reliant on somebody, maybe not, maybe with somebody relying on you to the extent. Somebody could have gotten away with a way of treatment or behavior. Now, the worst is over. I feel like this is regarding your past, and now you're just building yourself back up, waiting for your fruits of your labor to come in. Somebody definitely could be watching you from afar, but not speaking on it, not talking to you, not even... They're very sneaky. Whoever this person is, very sneaky. And I wouldn't be surprised if you have your guard up towards them. But with the Page of Swords reversed, I definitely feel like there's very little to no communication, no speaking whatsoever. There could be distance between you and somebody else. It could be a Capricorn, it could be an air sign. We also have the Five of Cups reversed. I see that you're just pulling yourself out of the mud. You're no longer letting this bother you. You're moving forward, you're moving on, you're healing from this, and yeah, there was some deceptive shit that happened in the past, some hurtful, painful things. <laughs> I, I heard tragedy, like, so, who knows, because everybody's going through different things. It could be a scale. Somebody may have just gone through some, you know, not so good things, and then there's some people who may have gone through, like, hell, right? So you decide where you are on the scale, but either way, though, there was something in the past that caused you a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, too. Okay, obviously this isn't upright, but he's very depressed. You could have been in a really bad state of mind for a while because of this. This could have, like, affected you hardcore. So, but you're getting past it. The worst is over. You're moving forward. But it's like, this is still lingering. It's still lingering. I don't know if you're in this already or you're still in it or you haven't moved on from it yet. I feel like it's still lingering, though. Let's see if there's anything else. Oof. Well, we have the star here, but it just flipped itself out. Like, it, re you know what I'm saying? It reversed itself as it came out. So it's like, here's how I'm getting this. You're very authentic. You're true to yourself. You show people exactly who you are. You're very just, you're real. You're real. There's no mask. You're not fake. You're straight up. The fact that it came out reversed, so I think you are real, right? You're real. You're the star. You shine bright. But... You attract not so real people. You attract the flies, you know, the, um, what are they? Moths, right? You attract moths because moths always fly to the light, to a lamp, right? And because you're shining so bright, you attract people who are the complete opposite of you. Those who hide their real intentions. Those who are sneaky. And those could be the same people that cause you this deceptiveness. Then this, this devil type energy, right? I'm feeling that there, you could be dealing with somebody who's inauthentic, not giving you the real deal, or you were at least in the past. I'm not sure about now, 
but at least in your recent past, that's what you were dealing with. Oh, yeah. I want to put those who basically are energy vampires, okay? You're cutting them out, period. That could be why the Queen of Swords is reversed, because you're tired of this shit, you're tired of putting up with this stuff, and you're like, I'm not investing my time into these people anymore. And we have two nines here, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I really feel like you're working so hard on your independence and your abundance, and you're not letting anything get in the way, you're not letting anything stop you from getting what you want what you deserve right and therefore people who just drag you down you're not investing your time into that anymore you have your guard up you're protecting yourself like i was saying before with the mother bear type energy protecting what's yours protecting yourself protecting your energy from these people who just drain the hell out of you and we also have the Three of Cups here, so you could be coming together with somebody. Or this could just be talking about you celebrating, because it is your birthday season, having good times with those who actually enjoy the company, those who actually support you, those you love, those you care about, those you just vibe well with, those you click with. So I think that's what this Three of Cups is talking about. So even though you're a little bit sharp, a little bit cold towards... I mean, I don't blame you. I'm the fucking same. <laughs> like, I've been going through some weird shit too, Scorpio. But, um, push those away. We don't need them. Let's just focus on the good parts of whatever's going on. I don't even know. Let's move forward. <laughs> Let's go into the Queen of Wands. Let's try and stay positive. You know, don't let these flies bring you down. Okay? They're just annoying. Like, house flies, you know? They just, you see them, and then suddenly they just die. And you're like, where did that fly go? you know because they're really annoying you know i don't know why i'm talking about flies let's move on <sighs> let's go into the queen of wands for scorpio <sighs> shit we have the three of swords here so yeah there was there has been pain i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna butter cut butter butter it up <laughs> what <laughs> i'm not gonna sugarcoat it okay so there was like, pain you've gone through pain but are you letting that get in the way? Are you letting that pain stop you? No, you're going forward. You're the queen of wands here. You are pursuing your passions. And even though you may be experiencing pain or you're still healing from it, you're not letting this pain get in the way of what you deserve. If anything, you're turning this pain into motivation to keep on going. I'm talking about the queen of wands for Scorpio from now to the... Yeah. Six of, six of swords, you're moving the fuck forward, you're not letting this pain stop you in your tracks, you're not, you're using that pain to motivate you and work even harder to get towards a place that's calm and something you've been wanting for a long time, or just something, you're, you've been working so hard, you're almost there. With the queen of wands yeah we are almost there scorpio we got the four of wands i think this is you taking a break so you're moving forward moving forward moving forward finally time to celebrate time to take a break let's have a good time all right because this is not the end this is not the end you're just getting started you're still on this journey but right now with the four of wands here this is about you being surrounded by people that you love and those support you and those who are real those who are authentic those who are not energy vampires those who want to see you grow want to see you succeed and you could be taking a time out or a weekend or a couple days off and just celebrating have a good time surrounding yourself with good people and good times good memories good energy and you're not letting the pain get in the way of things that you enjoy so let's go um Let's go into the High Priestess. That's good. I really like to see that. Like, even though you've gone through some shit, you're staying strong, you're not letting it get the best of you, I'm proud of y'all. Ooh! 
for the High Priestess, we have the Ace of Wands here. I'm loving it already. So I have the High Priestess for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be about the work. Four of Cups. Oh, Two of Pentacles reversed. Okay. So, for the High Priestess, you being intuitive, okay, you may be getting signals, signs, right? So pay attention to those. But... If you listen to your intuition and you really pay attention to it and you're listening to your guides or your higher self, your the truth, right? Your intuition, your guidance is helping you move forward. You're going to be granted with a new beginning, a new offer, a new start, something brand new, something you've been waiting for. You know, you've been planting those seeds, waiting for your fruits of your labor to come in. And look at this. You have the Ace of Wands coming out for you guys. Something that's going to be really passionate, really just like, oh, I love it. Fiery, exciting, creative for some. And I think this could be, we're talking about the workplace because we do have the Three of Pentacles coming out. So you could be collaborating with people, working with people. Um, this could also be talking about like the home life or friends, right? Friendship circles. We have three threes out now. Like, we have a three of cups, the three of swords, and the three of pentacles. Just three, three, three. You may have been seeing the number three, three, three for some. Um, we also have the two of pentacles reversed and the four of cups. So, for a while, I think you were juggling something or juggling a decision or way of thinking or going about... Maybe you just had a lot of things going on here. But there was something with the four of cups that you weren't seeing fully for a while. Took you some time to understand or see something, but you listening to your intuition, you listening to that intuition allowed you to look behind and see that cloud with the offer in the distance. And what is that offer, you may ask? Well, the offer is this, Ace of Wands, okay? Yeah, so you may have been juggling something, but... Yeah, maybe you were like weighing out a decision or a choice and you weren't really sure on what to do. But then you're like, I'm going to just listen to my inner self, listen to my intuition. It's going to help me guide. I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust my intuition and believe that everything is meant to work out the way it's supposed to. You did so. You dropped an option or you dropped one of these pentacles here. Chose one. Chose what was best for you. And look at this. We have something passionate starting here. Something new. Something that is going to be great. All right. So let's see what your expected timelines are headed towards for this upcoming week. So it's looking like you're going to probably start something new within the next week or so. Or a new idea is going to come to mind. Something that's just like a spark of passion. It's just, so it's, it's good. It's like you're planting all those seeds and like a brand new idea comes into your mind. And you're like, hell yeah. Right? So that's really good. Let's see what your expected timelines are. What is Scorpio's expected timelines? What are the expected timelines for Scorpio from now to November 3rd? What are the expected timelines for Scorpio? Someone has in this. What are the expected timelines for my Scorpios? What's expected in the near future for Scorpio? Okay. What are the expected timelines for Scorpio? What are the expected timelines for... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Okay, Scorpio. It's looking interesting. So, in the near future, first card out, we have the Seven of Wands. So, this is all about you defending yourself, protecting what matters to you, standing your ground, and not letting anybody get in the way, not giving a shit what other people think or say. You're just going for it. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting whatever it is that you value. And if people don't like it, oh, well. I don't need them, right? Holding truth to your values, holding truth to what matters towards you. We have the moon reverse, okay? So you know how you're listening to your intuition in the last spread with the high priestess? Well, the moon reverse is talking about something being exposed, something coming to light, truth coming out, illusions being cleared up, something here is coming to light. Definitely, something here is coming to light. It's looking like you may actually get a love offer, or if you're already in a commitment or you're dealing with somebody, this is like a chance to develop and strengthen the bond you already have. But if you're single, there may be an opportunity for you to extend your love or a new connection may arise, okay? So if you're open to that, that's awesome. We'll clarify, go a little bit deeper, see what it's going to bring. So look at like... 
Scorpio season starting off really good. You got two new things coming your way. We also have judgment here, having compassion for yourself. So you know that pain you were experiencing in your past, whether that was recent past or months ago, years ago. Look back with compassion. Be compassionate towards yourself. Don't give yourself a hard time. Don't beat yourself up. Don't dwell over the mistakes you may have made or things you may have said or what you could have, should have, would have. Don't do that, all right? You can't change the past. It's just about looking back, learning from whatever happened, and moving forward. And it's all good, all right? We'll look into that as well. But, like, just know that... Everything happens for a reason, so don't give yourself a hard time, especially over like something you may not have understood or not have known, okay? You gotta learn somehow. So let's clarify, let's see. What are you defending? What are your values, you know? What's the Seven of Wands talking about? What? Why are you so defensive? Like, let's see. <laughs> Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Scorpio. Oh, you know what? Actually, when I was prepping the deck, I did think that this card would come out. Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands reverse. I didn't, I saw this card when I was, I didn't see it in the deck, but in my head, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. And, oh, Scorpio. This is like one, every man for themselves, you know? Like, somebody who would really throw you under the bus for their own good. You could have been dealing with somebody like that. You're definitely dropping the burdens of whoever this may have been with the Ten of Wands reverse. Oh, okay, focus, please. So you drop the burdens, but there's still, like I'm saying, like there's still this lingering energy, this trickster energy, this deceptive energy from your past. I'm really feeling like it's from your past or something. Maybe, maybe you never got answers and it's like it's maybe resurfacing. Plus, you know, with Mercury retrograde coming up. That always, especially because it's going to be in you guys, so it, things are going to be exposed one way or another. So just be prepared for that, but and this is also in focus, sorry. Um, either way, though, definitely some type of loss, some type of deception. I don't think this is you holding the swords up. I think there, there was a loss here, and you had to walk away from something. And somebody may have had, like, a big ego, and they're like, ha, 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 I'm, I won. I won the fight. I won the argument. But little do they know, down the line, they're going to regret whatever happened and be like damn but i don't know let's see what else needs to come out for the seven of wands but it's like even if they recognize oh shit i fucked up it's gonna be too late at least that's what i'm picking up on um we have the page of wands here so possibly a message coming through or communication this is normally like light-hearted energy but with these two cards i'm almost getting like this player type energy let's look into this I'm at the Page of Wands for Scorpio in the expected timelines. I'm at the whoa, Six of Cups. Okay, so you probably have a past with whoever may be communicating to you. Oh, we have the Six of Pentacles. We got two Sixes out here. If we get one more Six, 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 Satan. We had Death. Oh, not Death. Sorry. The Devil come out in the last spread, and that's Satan, and like, we got two sixes coming out, I'm like, we just need one more six, and that's fucking the devil, that's the devil that you were dealing with in the past, so, I'm just kidding, I mean, okay, no, we got eight of swords, okay, I was like, okay, let's see if anything else needs to come out, um, oh, and we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck, so somebody could be communicating, all right, communication, a message coming through, somebody from your past, could be coming back and I feel like whoever this is definitely you have a past with them or you could be reminiscing about them thinking about them or even just remembering past times and this could definitely be somebody who it was like either their way or the highway very wishy-washy feeding you breadcrumbs that type of energy and um if they reach out, okay, because there's a chance they may not. There may be a chance that they do. If they reach out, though, it's looking like you may be just kind of stuck in your tracks. And, like, you're like, oh, shit, what do I do? Because, see, she's stuck. She's tied down. This is also, like, a mental-based card, though. Like, your fears and your thoughts are getting in the way. But it's like, oh, I don't know, man. I think, I feel like you're going to be tied and, like, stuck. Or, like, I'm not sure if I should cut them off or accept like if this uh, yeah i don't know but with the five of swords here it's looking like you're trying to drop this person and you know what happens when you drop somebody and you're about to move forward they always come back why 
I don't know. It's like they get a sixth sense and it's just like, oh, Scorpio's moving on. Oh, no. Hey, Scorpio, it's me. Miss me. I'm back. Like, you thought you forgot about me? A surprise. Like, no. Stay away, please. Like, so let's go into the moon reverse. Maybe they're going to communicate something, drop a truth bomb. I don't know why that came to me, but yeah. Because in the last spread, we had the six of, no, no, sorry. We had um, the Page of Swords reverse, like, I was saying that there could be distance between you and, like, somebody from your past, right? Somebody who you don't want to work on things with, right? Or there's no passion or motivation to make things work. If you felt like you've already given enough of your time and energy and it's un one-sided, unfair, so you pull away and you're like, well, if they want to reach out and they want to own up to shit, okay, fine, like, but I'm not going to be the one who starts things or some shit. And so they maybe try to return after you drop the burdens, because it's always when you drop the person when they come back, but they still kind of have that lingering, toxic, unhealthy, trickery-type, ego-based energy, and they may communicate something to you or talk to some, talk about something, somebody definitely from your past, and whatever they say has you, like, stop dead in your tracks, and it could be something that is coming to light, something exposed, well, look, let's look into it. <laughs> Let's go into the moon reverse, please, for Scorpio and the expected timelines. Oh, <laughs> this is what you have your guard up to. We have the seven of wands. That's what I was clarifying. You're getting a communication. You're being defensive, right? After you drop something, now whatever is being exposed, you have your guard up, all right? So double whammy, double confirmation. <laughs> Tell me about the moon reverse for Scorpio. People coming back. You're going to be like, why? I'm moving on. Why do you have to come back? Well, let's close the cycle. Tell me about the moon reverse. What's being exposed here? <laughs> wow. The world and the, the fucking fool. The world reverse and the fool. You know that this is the last card. In, oh, sorry. The last card in the Major Arcana and the first card. Literally... It's like, hey, I know we have unfinished business. I want to start something brand new. Hey, I know we haven't closed out a cycle. Let's just start over. Let's clean the slate. Let's pretend like nothing happened. Let's just, like, start over. Can we just forget what happened, Scorpio? Can we just move on? Can we talk about this? Can you just hear me out? Like, this is literally what I'm hearing in my head. Like, let's just start something. Oh, is this what, is it, is this, what this Ace of Cups is about? Because judgment is about second chances, too. All right, well, let's look into that. <laughs> oh, man, even with the Four of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck, that's always, you know, normally that's either restlessness kind of energy, unable to get rest, or you're constantly thinking about something, or this is about taking action, so, like, somebody may be taking action towards you. Let's go into this Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Scorpio and the expected timeline. Yeah, this is some divine shit. The fact that Judgment came out twice... Yeah, this was meant to happen at this time. Like, wow. Alright, talking about the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. Ooh, we have the Emperor. But is this you, Scorpio? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably you. There's a lot of major arcana coming out. Talking about the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. What is this? Oh, didn't come out. Ace of Wands. Okay. So we got two aces coming out. So we got the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. What is this offer? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Anything else? I really want to know what this cup of op this offer is. The High Priestess. Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. Wow, Scorpio. So we have we have three aces here. We have the Ace of Cups clarified with the Ace of Wands clarified with the ace of pentacles okay so this is like some new beginning type shit like literally with the fool this is a new beginning there's a new beginning on the horizon if not already it will be down the line um so we got we got two energies here we have the emperor and then we have the high priestess so two pretty high cards here we don't have no knights we don't have any pages well we did have a page up here but so not bad. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is the High Priestess is kind of secretive, kind of closed off, very just like hard to read, alright? So perhaps this is you or maybe this is the person that's coming towards you offering this new beginning, 
okay? This could be um, something that's long-term, like a relationship long-term, but yeah, like, the Ace of Pentacles is something like some long-term, I know I keep repeating myself, long-term, but then with emotion, but then with the passion, it's just kind of like, I'm feeling like relationship, okay? And when I was prepping the deck, I did see the high Hierophant come out like a couple times, so commitment may be offered here. So again, just use that intuition of yours, you know, that gut feeling immediately, if it's a bad feeling from the get-go, it's probably... Just pay attention to that. If it's a good feeling, okay, then just pay attention to that. Okay, but this is regarding whatever is exposed. This is a person, so I think this is your past person coming back. Whoever's communicating to you, whatever you just dropped, they're going to come back. Something's going to be exposed. Then there's going to be an offer to start something brand new, okay? With the moon reversed. And then the three of pentacles is like, okay, this is my truth. This is what that reality is or whatever. This is my honest truth. Can we collaborate? Can we work together? Can we make things work? Well, basically what I was talking about when these two cards came out, I was like, Scorpio, hear me out, you know? Basically whatever I was just saying then. Okay, so you get this cup of love or offer. Let's go into judgment, all right? Coming out of judgment for Scorpio in the expected timeline. Coming out of judgment for Scorpio. So judgment, I mean, it's kind of like you learning from the past, learning those life lessons. Um, second chances for sure. You may actually give somebody a second chance, or there may be an opportunity to give them a second chance. You don't have to take it, obviously. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio. Queen of Swords reverse. This is what you had your guard up to in the very first spread. Spread. Tell me judgment. The lovers, dude. Tell me the judgment card. Ace of Swords. We have all fucking aces coming out. Okay, give me one more for judgment for Scorpio. Oh. Hmm. Scorpio. I don't know if you trust this. I don't know if you trust this. <laughs> and we also have the Five of Cups coming out. This is the pain that you were feeling in the past. I don't know if you're able to move forward until this pain or sadness is, gets acknowledged. Okay, but we do have the Queen of Swords reverse. I don't know if you trust this. This is why we have the Queen of Swords reverse. You don't really trust this offer. Maybe this person did some deceptive things in the past. Pretty sure because we did have the Ten of Swords reverse. But we also have the Lovers and Ace of Swords. It's like, I think they are being truthful. You just don't believe it. Or you may have a hard time believing whatever this truth is that's coming out. Can you see the cards? I don't know if it's exposed. I'm sorry. There we go. But um, I have a feeling you could be dealing with the Gemini, Aries. I mean, we got all the cards coming out, so it doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. But I feel like you're having a hard time trusting this because you've been burned so badly by this person in the past. All right? But it's about having compassion. Okay? Hmm. Let's just get advice, okay? Let's get some advice. I definitely feel like you need it, and this video is starting to get a little bit long. So... Definitely don't be surprised if this happens down the line. It may not happen yet. It may not happen this week. It may actually happen sometime in Mercury Retrograde, possibly. So keep it in your back pocket. Put it in like a, a playlist. Come back to this if it does happen. Let me know because I'm pretty curious. Sometimes I don't even know what else I'm going to say. Let's just get advice. So any advice for Scorpio for the last spread? Any advice for Scorpio regarding the last spread? Any messages of advice, Spirit, for Scorpio from now to November 3rd? Any advice for Scorpio? Okay. Any advice for Scorpio? Four of Swords. Okay, so you may need to take time to decide and rest on this decision. Maybe you need some time. So this person offers something. You may need to take a moment to figure out, okay, do I want to accept or do I want to decline? Tell me. Any advice for Scorpio? Okay. Any advice for Scorpio? Okay. Any advice for Scorpio? Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's see if there's anything else. I feel like you guys need it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that after, too. Okay. So, Scorpio, for advice, we had the Four of Swords. So, for advice, if you do get offered this new beginning... You may need to take some time to figure out what you want, all right? That's all good. Take a day. You need some time. Just tell that person, hey, listen, I don't, like, I don't want to make a decision just yet. Can you give me some time to 
decide or just you know you may need to take time to decide you may need to talk about it you may need to think about it you need to take a couple days whatever you got to do okay don't feel rushed don't feel pressure to give them an answer right away we have the six of wands here talking about being proud of your achievements and whatever so you know what i was talking about before with that garden and your fruits of your labor coming in you're gonna be successful okay but this could also be talking about this new beginning starting right it's looking like it'll take off that'll work pretty sure the six of wands a success victory we also have the ace of wands here but we also have the ten of wands so it's de it definitely is saying to me that there are some things that you and this person need to discuss in order to drop them and move on, right? So there's going to be things you have to discuss. You're going to have to have <clears throat> honest conversations, honest communication, right? In order to move beyond this, if that's what you choose, right? And so maybe when you take time to think about what to do from now, like what's my next move, okay? At yes, no, decline, accept. You're going to have to figure out, okay, how am I going to go about this? If I say yes, I'm going to have to set boundaries. I'm going to have to talk about this. Like, you're going to have to figure it out, but that's all good. It's going to work out. It's going to be successful either way. You're going to be fine either way, with or without this person. Whatever you choose, you're going to be successful either way, okay? But we do have the Knight of Cups here coming in, talking about the right person will wait for you. So say that this person comes back and they offer you this new beginning and you're not really ready yet you want to just kind of wait on this especially during mercury retrograde you may want to wait this out and if this person's really true for you really the right person for you they will understand they will wait they will wait for you and so at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords all right this is you being logical what's best for you and um just trust yourself trust the ability to make those decisions that's best for you and everything else will fall right into place. So trust yourself. Trust that intuition. Everything will work out the way it does. Some divine stuff, okay? So don't stress out. Take time off if you need to. Take a day. Take a moment to just regulate and gather those thoughts. And everything will be just fine. So that being said, that was your reading. Happy birthday to those watching this video. And with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.